Japan Engineer District held the second annual Bilateral Senior Engineer Conference at Yokota Air Base. The event's focus was to bring together engineer partners and commanders from around the Pacific to discuss engineering challenges and propose solutions to those challenges as allies. You know, being the engineer command engineer here at U.S. Forces Japan, there's a lot of engineering construction efforts that are occurring between the government of Japan and, and U.S. government. So it's been extremely beneficial as we get together and understand how we can do things a little bit better to improve our engineering construction standards as well as processes and programs. Participants met with key stakeholders to discuss strategies for implementing Japanese construction standards into U.S. engineering practices. How do we implement the Alliance approach to engineering and facilities construction in Japan? Because construction in Japan is different than construction back in the States. And if we don't acknowledge that we can benefit from a lot of the things that they do here and keep implementing how we do it in the States, we're missing on a whole bunch of efficiencies in construction. Japan products and Japan generally used in the U.S. use of the safety measures to improve the construction costs and the maintenance of the facility. As a result, the maintenance costs and maintenance costs are reduced. The costs and maintenance costs are reduced. The costs and maintenance costs are reduced. As this is a win-win for everyone, the things that we bilaterally agree to and implement as part of the alliance approach benefits not only the U.S., it benefits Japan and therefore it benefits the alliance and the region. U.S. Forces Japan and Japan Engineer District are committed to customers and partners in Japan, and events like this create a community of practice for the engineering and construction communities in Japan.